Living on the Coast is proudly brought to you by Holiday Haven Tourist Parks. Planning your next adventure to the South Coast. Visit holidayhaven.com.au for more information. Hi, I'm Julia and welcome to Living on the Coast, the Essential Series. A show packed with things to do, things to see and stories about people and their passions. The world was built with a hammer. First by a man using his fist and then he picked up a rock. Then he put a handle on that rock which developed into the iron and steel ages. As once quoted, by hammer and hand all the arts do stand. Meaning things like the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge were built with the use of a hammer. Our show is about people, places and their passions and here at Greenwell Point I have found a passionate hammer collector. Over the years he has collected over 5,000 hammers. Some of them even helped build the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I'll stop at 5,000 but then I'll start culling if I can use the word culling. I'll pick out say my 20th worst hammers to reallocate those numbers so that I'm just improving my collection. We'll stay at 5,000 and just improve the collection, make it a better collection. They're sourced from all around Australia. I don't buy from overseas. I have people sending them me from interstate. Uh, garage sales, markets, swap meets, uh, people sheds, anywhere I can see, look for, I'll find one. Well, I have one that's been estimated to be made between the year 1700 to 1750. I consider that one of my most rarest hammers. Uh, I have a, another hammer here that was donated to me and it's a lady's throwing hammer and it was used by a young lass who was Australia's under 18 champion. It's her training hammer. I consider that quite a, quite a find and a treasure to have. I'm looking now for hammers that have been really one-offs, been made by the man on the land or a blacksmith just to do a specific job or he's needed something in a hurry to, to, to use as a hammer, so he's just gone to his shop and, and whipped one up. This, this hammer is estimated to be made between the years 1700 and 1750. It is an English coachmaker's hammer and probably used in the upholstery side of, of, of the trimming of the coaches. It, it's, uh, I get into a lot of trouble calling it a garage or a shed. My elder sons insist that I call it a mini museum. Uh, it, was, it was always the purpose to use half of the shed as my hammer museum but in the last 10 years it's just spread and spread so we've had to make other additions with other sheds and the carports Sorry. for the vehicles. More visitors because I'm very keen, I'm very proud to show my collection so I welcome visitors. So you welcome visitors to I, I welcome visitors to Hammerlot, yes. Yeah. That's it for this week, we hope you've enjoyed the show. If you want to see more of the program, go to livingonthecoast.info for more videos and while you're there, sign up to our newsletter to keep updated with what's happening on the show. Tune in next week for more Living on the Coast, the Essential series. Good night. <laughs>